Dr. Ken Stewart, Assistant Professor of Primary Care at KCU, joins us each month with wonderful insights and tips to help us assess your health. And today he's sharing information about a cancer that's been in the news recently as NFL legend Deion Sanders was diagnosed, underwent treatment, and is now cancer free. Dr. Stewart, thanks for being on with us. Always a pleasure. What specific cancer are we talking about? We're talking about bladder cancer, and it's one of those cancers that can be very, very hard to detect because it doesn't give you a lot of symptoms, you know, but if you start having blood in your urine, which is called hematuria, or if you're having a lot of discomfort when you urinate, that can be an indication that you've got bladder cancer. The thing about it is there are some tests that you can run that would be able to like detect any cells that might be in the urine, but there's not really a screening test for it. So it's one of those things that the earlier that you can get it, identify it, you can treat it, and uh, it's very treatable. So yeah. that's why it's important to know, you know, uh, be, be suspicious about it. And we don't seem to know as much about this type of cancer. It's not talked about as much. Yeah, it? it's pretty much a cult, and uh, that's, that just kind of means that uh, people don't know they have it until they have a problem. So mm -hmm. really have to pay attention to the symptoms. If you start noticing blood in your urine, um, that could be an indication of other things like kidney stones and things like that. But, you know, it's very important that if you have blood in your urine, to get it tested and find out what's going on. I have a specific question. Sure. About that. Uh, is it automatically noticeable if you have blood in your urine, or is that something that can be, it can be lost in the flow? It possibly can be. Sometimes you can't see the blood that's there. It's called microscopic hematuria. But there's a discomfort with it. Uh, you've, it's okay. almost like having a urinary tract infection where you've got a lot of irritability of the urethra, which is the tube coming out of the, you know, the collecting system out of the bladder. And it'll just be irritating. So it's like having to go to the bathroom more frequently, having a little bit of discomfort, feeling like you're not emptying your bladder completely. Those are the kind of things we're looking for. Uh, the, the way that they look into it is they can do some studies, like I said, they can look at the urine for, for cells, or they can do what's called a cystoscopy, and that's where they actually take a very fine tube and go down into the bladder through the urethra, and they look in the bladder, and they look for any evidence of any bladder cells, any tumors, any masses, and then they can biopsy that, and that will tell whether or not you have bladder cancer. So if you're having any of these type of symptoms, get it checked out. Absolutely, no yeah, what. because you know having blood in your urine is not normal, mm -hmm. and you know it can be anywhere from the bladder all the way up to the kidneys and everywhere in between. A lot of people will have blood in their urine due to kidney stones, but you know that wouldn't cause persistent bleeding, and that's usually you know men are higher uh, risk of it. People who smoke, about smokers are about 50 percent of the cases of bladder cancer. So if you're a smoker you should stop smoking just to reduce your risk. Drinking lots of fluids and flushing out those these kidneys and the bladder to be able to wash out those carcinogen cells is important. And how prevalent is, is the bladder cancer? I mean, is it, is, are the statistics high? Are they medium? You know, I didn't, I didn't look at that okay. part before we came in. I don't know how common it is. I think the problem is that it doesn't get diagnosed until it's more advanced. Mm -hmm. And then by that time, you're, you're having to undergo maybe bladder surgery or maybe have to undergo chemo or radiation treatments. So, you know, the, the earlier you can get it, you know, the better off you are in getting it treated. And you so. can't, can be cured of this. You can get, yes. get rid of this and you're safe to go. So get in and get those screenings, get everything that you need to to make sure that you're safe. Absolutely, absolutely. And then, of course, we always talk about diet. So diet, you know, a high vegetable diet, fruit diet, things that are healthy for you, trying to stay away from all those carcinogenic kinds of things, uh, avoiding chemicals, you know, pr certain paints, dyes, leather, uh, materials and things can also make a risk for getting bladder cancer. Great advice. Thank you so much. Of course. Yes. Always, Always enjoy. We appreciate having you on. And still to come, mixed drink.